Okay guys, what's going on? So, we got something new. I uh, put some of the affiliate money from banggood.com to good use and I brought this. It is a handpiece for your pressure cleaner. So this is great for car stuff. In there at the moment I've got a uh, soaker foam kind of nozzle so you can suck up your foam from your pressure cleaner. It gives you a not bad spread of uh, wash. This is just truck wash, so it's not super foamy. Now, I generally use my affiliate money to buy things to uh, showcase them on the channel, so I've got something new to show you guys. I haven't done a lot of promoting on the uh, banggood.com stuff anytime recently. As they stopped sending me stuff for free, and I wasn't really chasing any more free stuff, I don't mind buying things to review them. This is like awesome. As you see, you get it. And it comes with a bunch of nozzles. So I'm using the Ryobi 2500. Which one is it? Yeah, the Ryobi 2500. The biggest uh, one they make, that's the induction motor one. And this thing's filthy from just general road grime. Because it's got a zero degree, a 25 degree, a 40 degree, and a foam gun attachment. That's just a very standard quick connect. That's a standard BSP size. That's a M22 adapter. Straight to the Ryobi hose. So a lot of your petrol ones will run a very similar hose to that. And then we put the zero degree in there. Blast the rubber truck. <laughs> Obviously I'm not a detailer, but anyone that does detail work on cars will definitely tell you that having a lance in the end is not always a good thing. And because you've got the ability to point this out straight in front of you, it's exceptionally useful. I'm still stand back with the zero degree nozzle. Really, really blow the rubbish up. So of course, I'll link this below from banggood.com. I'm sure you can get them in other places. Generally, all those sales sites have the uh, very similar things. I just thought this was really cool. Seems to be brass construction on the inside. The valve's definitely brass in there. They, they seem quite nice. The quick connects, very nice brass and then stainless on the back of the quick connect by the looks of things. As I say, it comes with some different attachments. Then you can really get the goo off, like there's a bit of grease and stuff. And then even if you don't have the tip, you just pop that one out, get a bit of foam. Just to help you help you break the stuff down. Then go again. I'm looking for a good truck wash, so if anyone knows a really good one, let me know in the comments. Hopefully something I can buy in Australia obviously, but uh I've been using this stuff from Atlantic, which is good, but they're no good to deal with. I don't have an account with them, so they don't really care about how much I buy. But the biggest problem is, is uh, 
I've been there before and the printer doesn't work and they can't give you a receipt and no, uh, just I'm doing this stuff for business like supplying a business we need we need the goodies and we need them to be uh, accounted and yeah all that good stuff but anyhow it appears as though I've blown a bit of stuff off that headlight there was a bit of scale on that headlight <laughs> Still on the concrete there. Gives you plenty of grunt. These Ryobis are good, and I've mentioned that many times. But this, uh, this brings them even more to life. I was using it on the excavator before, but I ran out of truck wash. There's a, what's that one? That's a 40. Let me show you what the 40 looks like. That's 40 degrees. part about these tips is I might see if I can't 3d print like a holder to like rack them along the along the actual gun but this 0% nozzle will be game changing for getting grease out of joints that's got the sand in it <laughs> nothing worse than when you get sand in the sand in the joints this one's getting old as it is it doesn't really need any extra abrasion but you can just look, see how dirty that is there. You really just hit it, so yeah, super impressed. Seems good. Um, does have a trigger lock so you can't pull it accidentally for safety obviously yeah I will give you as an update if it uh, if it fails or the valve falls apart or anything silly looks quite easy to pull the plastic piece apart made out of like power tool plastic so it's relatively good quality yeah should be good to improve my pressure cleaner thanks for watching Catch you on the next video. Cheers guys.